Hello guys. Today I've got this HP battery that no longer works. I'm gonna show you how to repair it using the NLBA1 device. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna need to do is create a connector to connect it to the NLBA. I've got this male connector that I'm gonna insert it into the battery connector like this. And this green connector that enters in the NLBA1 input. Let's unscrew the screws from the green connector. The screws are now unscrewed and I have place to, to place the wires. As you can see here, I have two black wires here and two red wires here. I'm gonna connect the black wires to the G ground and uh, those two red wires to the V voltage. What I'm gonna do next, took those four wires, set the multimeter on the diode mode, uh, put the red probe on ground, and the black probe on each wire until I see a value like 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts. Zero point seven. And this wire, it has to be 0 0.7 too. Yes, 0 0.7. That means that two wires is clock and data. Let's uh, test these wires too, to see that it doesn't have 0 0.7, 0 0.9, and this one, 2.7. I think this battery has a system present too, but we're gonna connect it after. What we're gonna do is connect the battery to the NLB1 analyzer. And then we go in the software and we press start reading with the power on active. Then I'm gonna come back to the battery and I'm gonna plug these wires that I it has 0 0.7 volts on them and you see that I have the pinout now let's screw the the wires in place now what I'm going to do next is connect the system present pin No, this is not the system present in, I think. I think this it should be. Yeah, as you can see on the manufacturer access, we have 7F80. And when I connected, it changed to 7F81. So this is the system present in. I'm gonna connect the system present pin to the ground now. Now the pinout is complete. Let's connect the battery. And see on the software what we have. The battery is still locked. We have a BQ40 Z50 from Texas Instruments. Let's go to the reset app and see what we have on the PF status. Don't forget, don't forget to power it on. As you can see on the PF status, we have a safety cell under voltage failure so the chip can't uh, can get unlocked because of this pf status failure what we need to do next 
it's disconnect the battery from the NLBA. Open up the battery and precharge the cells to like 3.5 volts or over 3 volts at least. Uh, here is the PCB. I'm gonna need a knife. As you can see, I finally managed to get to the PCB. Now, let's check with the multimeter what voltages do we have on the cells. This cell has 2.09. This cell has 2.4. And this cell has 2.12. These cells are the same, and this one is a little bit higher. I think I'm gonna charge them together, and then if we have an unbalanced cell, I'm gonna charge uh, them apart. Yeah, I think this is the minus, and this is the plus. Oh uh, yes, let's try to charge it now. We're gonna set the power supply to 7 volts, and the current to 0 0.2 amperes. And I'm gonna raise the voltage in the current until it gets to like 3.5 volts on each cell. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to connect this. These probes, but I hope. Yes, I was able to connect these probes. Now I'm gonna charge the cells until they get to 3.5 on each cell. I think the charging is done. Let's check the voltages on the cells now. On the first cell we have 3.4. On the second one 3.4. And on the third one 3.42. So the cells are now balanced and uh, have the right voltage. Let's connect to the NLP1 analyzer and reset the chip to get the battery working again. As you can see, the cells are now balanced, but the battery is still locked. The problem is that PF status. Let's uh, reset the chip and see if the battery works. You see the PF status, it's remained here. Let's unstrip the chip. First, read the EPROM in case the battery gets damaged. Uh, you can uh, write the bad EPROM and the battery will get uh, like this save it to a file now we can clear the chip errors 
press recheap info. Here we can see that the cell safety cell enter voltage failure error disappeared and the bit is cleared. Now let's see if the current appeared and we see that current is not here but let's try to charge it. Yes, the battery uh, charges very well. Let's try to discharge the battery now. The battery discharges as well. Now what we can check is the health of the battery. We see that the battery is like new and will work very good from now. So we got a new battery that has been repaired. Now what we're gonna do is uh, assemble the battery back. It's connected from the software, from the NLDA. Put this thing back in place. Was like this. Uh, that's our battery. I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, tape and tape it here because it has been cut and it don't stays anymore. And it will be like now. Thank you for watching. If you have any problem with the battery, write us on forum and we will help you there. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.